Hi guys, it's Cliff with the Sunday Drive. Today we're going to be comparing three bed liner options. The first option is no bed liner. The second option is the drop-in bed liner. The third and most expensive option is the spray-in bed liner. Uh, so we're going to kind of go through the pros and cons of each. A bonus we're going to have in this video is trying to put my original bed liner back in after I get it bed lined with Line X. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first and most obvious option is no bed liner. So what are the pros of this? It actually looks pretty good until you use it. Once you start using it, it gets dirty very quickly, but it is pretty easy to clean. So if you're going to a lot of car shows or truck meets, I guess, at your local Walmart, this might be the option for you. Also, weight saving. Um, but the, the negatives are, obviously, if you are actually going to use your truck bed for hauling anything, you don't want to go this route. You're going to start that dents. Um, I have some small dents in here. That's even with having that uh, bed liner in for the majority of the life of the truck. If you're going to use your bed for any real work, you need to have some type of bed liner. So that moves us to option number two, and that's the drop-in bed liner. I actually have mine sitting over here on the side. We removed that so you guys could see under there. Um, so this is my drop-in bed liner. So what are the pros to this? Well, it's cheap. It's usually two to three hundred bucks depending on the quality. I'm sure there's more expensive ones, um, but that's usually what they range about. It fits in really easy. If you do want to take it out, it comes out fairly easy and it doesn't have the rough texture that the uh, spray and bed liners have if you get the grit in there so you can slide things in and out on it. But the negatives are the fact that it is just a drop-in. So you do end up getting rubbing on your bed that wears down the paint, causes it to rust, um, the left fender well was actually really rusted, it was almost rusted through. I had to sand that down really far and then spray that over with a primer and paint. Um, so that's the biggest concern with the drop-in bed liner is the rubbing. Also it allows stuff underneath of it because it's not attached to your vehicle. So you're going to get grit and water under there that's going to cause more abrasion to the surface. So while it will protect your bed from dents and you know if you're putting dirt and stuff in here, there is the possibility of rubbing. Alright guys, so your third option, and by far your most expensive, but some might argue the best protection, is nice. the spray-in bed liner. <laughs> this is the option I'm going to be going with. After taking out my original bed liner, I kind of saw the rubbing there and decided I wanted to do something else with my bed. Which leads me to the first pro of the, the spray-in bed liner is that it conforms to the bed of your truck. It becomes the bed. So that gives you access to all of your eye hook locations, whereas my stock drop-in uh, bed liner blocked a lot of those and I would have had to drill holes in it to access those. Also it will prevent that rubbing problem I was having with the drop in bed liner. The last pro is that you can get it color matched to your vehicle. So if that's something you want to do and you kind of, you know, if it's a show truck or whatever, you can get it color matched to whatever your vehicle is. The cons of this are number one cost. It is by far the most expensive option. If you go with the lowest grade bed liners, you can get it for about 450, 500 bucks. If you go for the higher end with UV protection and color matching, you can get upwards of $1,000, $1,200. So that is something Something to keep in mind with this, this isn't your cheapest option. Another thing to be aware of is this is a permanent solution. Once this is in there, it's not coming out easily. They're gonna have to abrade your paint with sandpaper so that the bed liner properly adheres to your bed. So you wanna make sure you go to a reputable uh, installer of bed liners so that it's done properly. So those are kind of the three big bed liner uh, options. So Rhino Liner and Line X are kind of the two big competing ones. I decided to go with Line X because there was a dealer nearby that was reputable. We'll give you guys a review of that when it's done. But we're gonna see if we can get my stock bed liner back in there after it's been bed lined. Just to, I wanna know. Who doesn't wanna know? Everyone wants to know. And I want this out of my yard. So I just got my bed liner sprayed uh, with Line X. One of the big things you want to keep in mind with this, you want to find a reputable installer. If they don't prep your bed right, it's going to start to peel over time. So I made sure I found one that had good reviews. I went up to Bridgeport, New Jersey at New Jersey Line X. Definitely recommend them. They did a great job, great customer service as well. Everything's covered fully. There's no gaps. There's not going to be any rubbing like you have with the drop-in bed liner. All right, so for the final thing we want to show you guys is I want to see if my bed liner will actually sit on top of this because then you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the added protection of the bed liner on top of the spray and bed liner. So we're going to see. <laughs> uh, Cliff the musical. So we got it in. It fits. You can see it's, it's still matching all the grooves here pretty much along the edge. It fits in there. So, you know, it's not quite as pretty as the bed liner. The spray and bed liner definitely looks a little better, but... You know, I'm going to be using this truck a lot and this is definitely added protection. So since it fits in there, it would kind of be dumb not to use it since I have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. See you later.
Magnum. Cue the phone ringing. Okay.